Hey guys, um, I'm Samantha, and this is a intermediate reading class. An intermediate reading class. Today we're going to read about two famous celebrities, Michael Jackson and Billie Holiday. So. Um, you can get reservations to join class early or use a reservation. You have two minutes to join before everybody else. So if you go to um, verbling.com slash get reservations, hey man, um, Hello. you can join right Love away. <laughs> and that's great. Are you still lost, Iman? Are you yes. Oh, oh no, this is what happens when you ask Firkin for directions. He spins you around in a circle. I know Firkin's watching, so I can say that. Um, you go to verbling.com slash get reservations, and then you can join class early. Or you can go to verbling.com slash premium, uh, become a premium member, and then you can join classes early whenever you want. You get unlimited reservations. Okay. So as soon as the button is green, you can come on in and hang out with us. So... Hello to Ibrahim. Yeah, hello. Hey, how are you? I'm fine. What about you? Good, thanks. Nice to see you. Uh, nice to see you too. Yes, yes. And hi, Jose. Oh, okay. It was I can't good. hear you, Jose. Your microphone. Can you click on the microphone in the top corner? Okay. Yeah. I can hear you, Ibrahim. That's good. I can hear you. Okay, good. Thanks. Thank you. Yeah. Um, so I think you guys can join now. Just click on the green button. Okay. Sam will perform a moonwalk at the end of class. No, no, I will not. <laughs> Maybe I'm when here you again. This is what happens when we talk about Michael Jackson. You guys expect me to do moonwalk? Maybe we can watch a music yeah. video. We can all do the thriller dance, but that's about it. <laughs> Hi. Okay, everyone can join hello. now. Hello, hello. <laughs> Birkin, yeah, Iman is hello, still hello. lost. Oh, she can't no. find her way. She's at the totally aquarium. <laughs> Maybe we should come look some fishes. Maybe she would like it. <laughs> what? What? Hello, hello. Hello. <laughs> Oh, hi. Hi. The same people. <laughs> hi, how are you? <laughs> Good. Is that a, is that a piano here. I see in the background? Do you have a piano behind you? Yes. Ah. Yes, it's a <laughs> Are you going to play a Michael Jackson song for us today? <laughs> Sometimes. <laughs> okay, maybe another time. <laughs> hi, Maria. Hello. Hey, how are you? Well, I'm fine. Good, good. Hi. Hi, who's that? Hi, Idris, you're back. Uh, I'm are you lost? <laughs> I'm not lost. Okay, okay. I found you. I found you. Okay. So to warm up, um, <laughs> tell me your name, where you're from, and what's your favorite? No. Michael Jackson or Billie Holiday, if you have one song. Do you have a favorite Michael Jackson song? Maybe. So let's start with Alif. Alif, are you there? Alif, I don't hear you. You might have to click on your microphone up at the top corner. Yeah, already. Oh, you are. I can hear you. So, oh, yeah. could Thank you me. introduce Sorry. yourself for us and tell us if you have a favorite Michael Jackson song? Uh, yeah, my name is Ali. I'm from Indonesia. I like... Uh, uh, Michael Jackson is Billie Jean, <laughs> only Billie, Billie Jean. Jean. Yeah. Awesome. Um, hi, Belkadi. Belkadi, are you there? I hear some background noise, but I don't hear you. And 
Então, né, isso aqui. Ibrahim? Yes. Hi, can you introduce yourself and tell us your favorite Michael Jackson song? Uh, uh, I'm Ibrahim, I'm calling from Malaysia. Uh, I'm studying in Malaysia here in Nasta. So, uh, my favorite singer is Michael Jackson, but uh, unfortunately, I don't know the title of the song that I love. <laughs> That's okay. You could just <laughs> sing it. Do you want to sing it for us? And then we are just kidding. Okay, cool. Um, hi, Iman. Hello. Hello. Hi. So can you? I can't sing neither. Neither. Okay. You won't, you don't have to <laughs> sing. It's okay. <laughs> um, you have Great. a favorite Michael Jackson or a favorite Billie Holiday song? Uh no. No, 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 no. I don't think no. I don't think that they are of one of my favorite singers at all. No, no. Okay. Um, what about you, Jose? Um, uh, really, I just remember Thriller. Maybe it's my favorite song. Nice Thriller. Thriller With the dance, yes. the whole. The whole video? Uh, <laughs> no, not really. Uh, my wife loves uh, Michael Jackson's songs. Oh, okay. Great. <laughs> <laughs> okay, cool. Um, hi, Lorenzo. Hello, Samantha. Where are you from? I'm uh, from Dominican Republic. Cool. And do you have a favorite Michael Jackson song? Yeah, it could be Who Is It? Nice. Who Is It is a good song. To to dance it. <laughs> also, <laughs> a good dancing song. Yeah. And Frickin. Yeah, I have one, but a different version. I will paste the link. Okay, it's what? A different what version of Smooth Criminal with cellos. It's the Michael Jackson version. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Michael Jackson's Smooth Criminal, but it's a different version. Oh, Played I with see. cellos. Maybe you can watch it later. Oh, I see. There's another version of Smooth Criminal, but it's like pop rock by um, Alien Ant Farm. Yeah, it's an older song. Not great. I wouldn't recommend it. But but. No, it's just, just music. <laughs> cool, thanks. And uh, hi, Maria. Hi. So do you, where are you from? I'm from Spain. And do you have a favorite Michael Jackson song? I prefer Billie Holiday. Okay, you prefer Billie Holiday. What's your favorite Billie Holiday song? Um, I don't remember. <laughs> she has lots of good ones. <laughs> All right, cool. Um, hi, Rosal. Again, hello. Bye. You're back. Um, do you have a favorite Michael Jackson or Billie Holiday song? Mm, well, they are not my favorite, but uh, yeah, I don't remember. There was a song. They don't. They they don't really care about something like that. Mm. Michael Jackson song. Okay, I'm not a Michael Jackson oh. expert, unfortunately. They don't okay. really care about <laughs> us. Yeah. Like I know that song. I got it, I got it, I got it. Beat it. Beat it. Yeah, yeah, read it. Okay, so just before we um, do our reading, we have to listen to like 30 seconds of Michael Jackson. I feel like it's necessary. So, what's this, th what's this link? Uh, the song that Russ says. Which one? They don't care about us. Oh, uh, that one. Um, okay. Sorry, I'm having. Here we go. They told him, Don't you ever come around here? Don't wanna see your face, you better disappear. The fire's in the eyes. Okay, that's enough. <laughs> you're like, oh no, don't turn it off, you know, when you're singing really loud and there's music and then it stops and you're still singing. And it's like, oh. Yeah. <laughs>
<laughs> okay. So Michael Jackson. Here's a picture of MJ or of drawings. Not the greatest drawing of <laughs> Michael Jackson, but there Girl he is. Test. Yeah. So first thing we're going to do is look at some vocabulary. Mm -hmm. And then we will read the text together and talk about it, okay? So here are our vocabulary words. Would someone like to read the list for us? Maybe um, Maria? Yeah. Okay. So can you read? We have the first one is talent. I'm going to upload this document for you guys. So you have Could you read the list for us, Maria? Can you see it on my screen? Uh, I, I can uh, do talent. it. Uh, uh, I can see because okay, the screen is. Okay, the I'm uploading the blurry. document now. Um, how about uh, Jose? Can you read the list? The, 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 which one? So we have uh, talent one uh, and talent. the uh, one and one is and uh, F, uh, F, 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 a special ability that you are born with. Oh, sorry. Just, yeah, just sorry. read the list first. <laughs> and, and, <then laughs> and then we will match Good. them together. Okay. I, I you love you. Uh, it's not too hard. All you have to do is just read it first and then we'll... <laughs> There's the link. Um, I, if you can't see it, okay. Um, so, Maria, can you see the list? Talent solo. Okay. I don't know it's what okay. means okay. solo. It's okay. Um, so, Jose. Uh, you're muted, Jose. I can't hear you. Samantha, I can do it. Okay, Lorenzo. <laughs> okay. <laughs> talent. <laughs> number one, talent. Two, solo. Number three, take off. Number four, debut. Debut. Number five, uh, signature. Debut. 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 Number six, tabloid. Number seven, custody. Number eight, biological. Number nine, makeup four. Number ten, exotic. 11 rehearsals. Number 12, involuntary manslaughter. Good. Involuntary manslaughter. Manslaughter. So, talent, talent. And then we have our list over here, A to L, of definitions. So, how about Firkin? Can you read the list for us? To offset a loss or bad experience, killing someone without intention, to suddenly became popular, identifying characteristic of a person, first show or performance in public, a special ability that you are born with, by oneself, rather than a group, featuring sensational headlines to practice for a show related by blood, having children in one's protection for unusual. unusual. Did you do that with, without taking a breath? <laughs> with no, with no coma. <laughs> Who needs to breathe? Just and then just read the words. can read without coma. Yeah. Um. There is actually a typo, a typing mistake here. It should say to suddenly become popular, yeah. not became. Not became. Suddenly become popular. Become. Okay. Okay. So number one, talent. Talent. Which definition matches talent? F. Yes. Special F. ability here. Yeah. Yes, get a special ability you're born with. Solo. Solo. G. By one stop part of the group. Good. G. So to, to go solo or to do something solo means by yourself alone. Okay. Um, take off. Number three, take, take off. off. E? No. No, 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 no. C? To suddenly become, become popular. Good, to suddenly become popular. So if, mm -hmm. if your career takes off, your music career takes off, it means you've suddenly become popular. 
okay. your career has taken off. Okay. What about number four, debut? Debut E, first show or performance of public? Good. Your first show is your debut performance. Debut performance. Okay. Number five, signature. Identify. Good. Identifying character of a person. Of a person. Good. So this doesn't mean like you take your pen and you sign a document, right? That's a different kind of signature. Your <laughs> signature is like yeah. your thing. It's a characteristic that's about you. Like maybe um, Lorenzo's signature is that hat he's wearing in that picture. It's like Lorenzo's okay. signature hat. <laughs> I don't okay. Know. I don't know. Um, yeah, Michael Jackson's signature dance move is his moonwalk, right? Um, there's lots of signature things that about Michael Jackson, but one of them is his moonwalk, right? Um, what would be a signature characteristic of, um, I don't know, who's another famous person? Britney Spears. Did she have a signature characteristic? Blonde. She's blonde. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Perfect. Okay. Oh, oh, what about oh, oh, a signature characteristic of Gordon Ramsay? Scrap. From Hell's Kitchen. Does he have a signature characteristic? Great anger. He's angry. Right? Angry. His anger. His anger, swear. anger. He swears. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You could say his potty mouth. Have you heard this before? A potty mouth? No. Potty mouth is someone who swears too much. Someone who uses a lot of swear words. Swear or curse words. Has a potty mouth. Okay. Um. Okay, number six, tabloid. H. Yes, sensational headlines, good. Number seven, custody. Okay. Uh, good. Having children in one's protection. Number eight, biological. Bloods. Right, related by blood. So you have your biological <coughs> parents. Are your birth parents okay? Um, number nine, make up for L. Feature sensational headlines. Oh, no. um, feature hey. sensational oh. headlines. What does that mean? Sensational headlines. I don't know. So in the tabloids, the tabloids are magazines like um, Star Magazine where they talk about celebrities and have outrageous sensational stories. So the sensational headline is the title of the article, um, of a big article. So for oh example, when Britney Spears like shaved her head back, you know, remember when she went crazy? And yeah. she went crazy. <laughs> the headline might have been like, Britney Spears goes crazy again, shaved her head or something, would be the headline, and then you'd see a really ugly picture of Britney Spears on the cover like bald and then that would be in a tabloid so a tabloid is like a celebrity kind of magazine and they okay. talk about being in the tabloids um, um, where are we number nine make up for a. 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 yes a good to offset a loss or a bad experience is to make up for something um, number 10, exotic. L. Unusual. Good. Foreign or unusual. Okay, um, number 11, rehearse. Mm. Practice. Practice. Good. Yep, to practice for a show. Um, involuntary manslaughter. <laughs> yes, killing, killing someone without intention. Right, so involuntary means you're not volunteering or you're not doing it by choice. And what is manslaughter? It's another word killing. for killing, yeah. Um, okay. Any questions? Word Any other questions about the vocabulary? 
Why I do they call them Sorry, I'm sorry, Abraham. What's your question? Uh, I just want to know about the Castori. Which word? Number seven, number seven, Castori. Oh, where's that sound? Sorry, Jose, you have a loud noise that just started coming from your microphone. Custody. Number, yeah, custody. 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 Um, custody, so having children in one's protection is to have custody of them. So, for example, um, maybe one of your parents. Oh, sorry. If your parents get divorced, your parents split up or get divorced, your mother might have cus full custody of you. So you're always in your mother's care. She has custody. Or your father could have custody. Or they could have shared custody of you, where they share the duties and you go to both, spend time with both parents. Okay. So custody is like being in charge of a child. Uh, is this an adjective or a noun? Or a noun. A noun. Yeah, you you have custody. So I could say, um, well, it's a police term. Yeah, yeah, you're right. It's also a police term. So um, I'll give you two examples. So with the parent example, you could say, my parents were divorced last year my mother has custody of me or you could say um, me and my husband were divorced last year he has custody of our child okay um, and you also like Firkin just pointed out you also use custody when you're talking about um, the police so you could say the police arrested um, Abraham <laughs> last <laughs> weekend, he is in custody. So yeah. when you're talking about the police, you can say he is in custody. Or you could say the police have custody or have him in custody. Teacher. Have custody of Abraham. <laughs> Hopefully you haven't been arrested <laughs> any time lately. <laughs> but um, so you can use it when you're talking about parents and a custody of a child, or when you're talking about the cops or the police. Um, did someone else have a question? T uh, teacher, yeah, no, I have a problem with the with the group chat. It's not working. Uh, well, I see all the members in group, but all I want to see it is split. It. How can try I do it? Exiting, try to exit Verbling Classes, the chat, and then open it again and tell me if that works. Okay, okay. So try to just refresh it. Um, let me know if that's working. Okay, no problem, amen. Okay, um, any other questions about the, the vocabulary? No? Okay. So... Nickname, the gloved one, <laughs> king of pop. <laughs> These are some nicknames for Michael Jackson. He's often called the king of pop. Okay, we'll find out um, his nationality and his occupation while we're reading. It tells us he was born August 29th, 1959, and he died June 25th, 2009. Here's a quote from Michael Jackson. I'm never pleased with anything. I'm a perfectionist. It's part of who I am. It's a quote from him, okay? Um, we're going to learn his full name, his nationality, his occupation, and what he is known best for um, as we're reading. So, here it is. Here is our picture of MJ once again. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it's not a, not a great picture of, of Michael Jackson. Um, so who would like to read first? Any volunteers? And if you're watching from outside, I believe we have a seat or two uh, available. So for all of you guys outside watching, you can come hang out with us if you want to. If you want to I can do it. Okay, I can Lawrence, do it. So go ahead. Can you read the first uh, two paragraphs? The first three paragraphs. The first two paragraphs. Okay. Yeah, these two. Michael the Jackson. Short. <laughs> okay, Michael Jackson. Michael Jackson sold millions of records during his career. He earned the title 
excuse me. He earned the title King of Pop, but his fan and friend called him NJ. Good. You can read the second paragraph too. Okay. A teacher recogni recognized Michael Jackson's singing and dancing talents in kindergarten. By age eight, Michael was the lead singer in his brother's small town band. The Jackson Five have numerous hits, numerous hits, including ABC, I Want You Back, I Gotta Be There. Michael later referred to his own child voice as mini, mini mouse like. Good, mini mouse like. What? Who's Minnie Mouse? Do you guys know who Minnie Mouse is? Minnie Mouse is girlfriend. Yeah, <laughs> Mickey's girlfriend. Mickey Mouse girlfriend. <laughs> yeah. So if something is Minnie Mouse like, this, the like, you can add that to the end of things to say that it sounded like Minnie Mouse. Or I could say that um, um, doing the moonwalk is very Michael. Jackson like of me. Our Ramsey like teacher. Ah, hopefully not. <laughs> Am I like Gordon Ramsey? I don't know. I don't think so. <laughs> um okay, so he sold millions. Um he earned the title the King of Pop. He has a nickname, MJ. Here's our vocab word, talents. So a teacher recognized his talents by kindergarten. You guys know what kindergarten is? Mm -hmm. Like, uh, I don't know if it's the mm -hmm. same word for you guys, but three and four years old uh, before grade and first grade. Um, do you guys know what Motown is? Motown Brown. No. No. Can I, does anyone know what Motown means? The Motown band is like a, a band that is that play in a restaurant or something like that or a bar. Yeah, yeah. Motown was is actually um, a record company. It's actually a record uh, label. And Motown record. Okay. Yeah, it's a record label. Um, it's in the, it was in the '60s, '50s. So there's specific um, some very popular artists that were on that record label and that all emerged kind of at the same time. Um, a lot of them were African American in the, in South, in the South part of, of America, of the United States, not America. Um, okay. Like who, I've, there's a big list, let me get you a list, list of Motown artists. But now they just refer to kind of all of them as Motown artists. And um, you can get like a Motown compilation that has a bunch of different Motown artist songs. There's a list. Uh, like Marvin Gaye is one. Um, what else do we have? The Cats. There's a big list. The Jackson Five. Michael Jackson was um, signed to Motown. Billy Preston. Smokey Robinson is a big one. Oh, Supreme. Stevie Wonder. Stevie Too Wonder, long. yeah. Frankie Valley and the Four Seasons. So, lots. Possible. Um, so they're saying that at eight, Michael was in a Motown band, the Jackson Five. So if you guys have heard of MJ, you've probably heard of the Jackson Five, right? When he was a kid, like ABC. It's really hard to say song titles without singing them um, when mm. you're talking about Michael Jackson. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Let's keep going. Um, who would like to read the next paragraph? Any volunteers? Yeah. Okay, Ab Abraham? Uh, Michael Jackson's solo career took off in the 1980s. His second album, Twilight, remains <coughs> the largest selling album of all time. Billy Jam was the first video of the black artist to air on MTV in 1983. Michael Jackson debuted his signature dance move, the moonwalk. Good. So even though this looks like debuted, it's actually pronounced debuted. Debuted. So it's a silent T. Yeah. Um, debuted. Yeah. So it looks like debuted, but it's pronounced debuted. Debuted. 
<laughs> so his solo career, his individual career, took off in the 80s. Talking about Thriller still being the largest selling album of all time. Billie Jean is a pretty iconic song because it was the first video of a black artist on MTV, and that was a big deal mm -hmm. in the 80s. Um, and then it's saying he debuted his signature dance move. There's that signature word, the moonwalk. So would anyone like to perform a moonwalk for us? <laughs> Maybe. Yes. My hand's going to perform this. I can do it on my hand. Like, <laughs> I can do it. I I can do it, but you have to play the song. Okay. I at the end of class, if someone will actually stand up and do the moonwalk, I will most definitely play the song. Abraham Abraham Bell is going to do it. Not me. Abraham, are you going to do the moonwalk? <laughs> I can help while you do it. <laughs> okay. Um. All right. Let's keep going. So this one's a little, little bit long. Uh, would anyone like to read this paragraph? Samantha, ¿dónde está este? Where is where is this article? It's on Google Drive. I'll give you the link Thanks. right here. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. I can read. Okay, uh, sure. So if, we're on. If you tell me where am I? We're on page two on one, two, three, paragraph number four. It starts with in the 1990s. In page three. Sorry, page two. Okay, and is the third paragraph? Did you say fourth? Fourth. So just the last, yeah. Yep, in the 1990s. Mm. Do you see it on my screen? Samina. Just click the screen of the Samantha. You can uh, look at my screen if you want. In the Berlin one. Yeah. Oh, right. Later, click on the. Oh. oh. The Samantha. Oh. She left. She left. She probably clicked the wrong thing. Um, <laughs> in the nineteen nine. I find it. Uh, Maria, would you like to read? No. Let you find it. No. Okay. Okay. Um, Mariam, would you like to read? Mariam. Lisal. Yeah, I can do Let's it. Let's do it again. Somebody, anybody. <laughs> yeah, I can do it. Let's do it. Russell, you can read if you'd like. No? Yeah. No? Okay. Um, Maria, would you like to read? Uh, there's a lot of background noise. I know, I got rid of it. Uh. Okay. In the 1990s, tabloid newspapers put Michael Jackson under the spotlight. Journalists accused him of lying about a skin disease. They also wrote about his cosmetic surgery. During his time, he married and divorced Elvis Presley's daughter, yeah, Lisa Mary. He, he also married and uh, had two children with his nurse, Tabby Rowe. When his second marriage failed, Michael Jackson took custody of the ch children. A surrogate mother later gave Michael his third child. Michael claimed to be the biological father of Prince, Paris, and Blanket. Perfect. Um, just going to help Mariam really quickly. Mariam, you need to have only the Hangout open because we can hear the sound from verbling.com. Um, if you have headphones, use them, and that will be helpful. OK? Otherwise, we have to keep you muted because there's a lot of background noise. So see if you can find some headphones. Um, okay, so thanks, uh, tabloid newspapers, like you're saying. Oh. So in the 90s, he was under the spotlight. What does that mean, to be under the spotlight? Everyone is watching him. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Under the Everyone's cush. watching him. You could say he's under scrutiny. In the public eye, you can say. Tabloid, it's like um, magazines about celebrities. Or newspapers about celebrities. Um, journalists accused him of lying about his skin disease. 
What was your question? A surrogate. Surrogate. Oh, his surrogate mother. A surrogate mother later gave Michael Jackson his third child. What does this mean? What is a surrogate mother? Does anyone know? Like, uh, hey. Stepmother? No, not stepmother. A I woman like... that played the role of a mother. A mother. Uh, ca yeah, kind, kind of. of. If, if you're unable to have children physically, you might look for a surrogate mother. So if if you're a couple and the woman is unable to get pregnant, then you find another woman who will become pregnant for you and have your baby and then give it to you. So a carrier, yeah, she carries your baby and then gives it to you. Um, and usually, I don't know if you would pay her or if she's just, I don't know. But it's a surrogate mother. It's just, just the person who's carried the baby. And that makes her technically the biological mother. But usually if you're a surrogate mother, you don't end up having contact with the child. It's just a matter of you carrying the baby. So he has some, oh. some strange names, right? So <laughs> baby names, Prince, Paris, and Blanket. Blanket. What do you... <laughs> <laughs> interesting thing to name your child <laughs> like I blanket um, how are you I don't know very weird Paris. even Prince In the Paris, is a strange name blanket of Prince yeah. a Prince having Paris a Prince of Paris having a blanket <laughs> yeah exactly <laughs> yeah so alright so he Married and divorced Elvis Presley's daughter, Lisa Marie, so he was married to a Presley for a little while. Um, any questions? Any other questions about vocabulary? There's that word custody and biological. Uh, it's clear everything. Okay. All right, let's look at the next paragraph. Uh, maybe, Jose, would you like to read? Jose, I have a big problem. Pardon? The boys. Oh, Jose, you're having a problem with your microphone. Um, I think. Microphone. Let me find you the link. There's a technical help link. Just a second. Sorry. There's the link for you, Jose. You can go there and see if you can figure out what's happening with your mic. Miriam, you still have an echo. Um, how about um, Birkin, would you like to read? Okay, do you want me to read quickly? Whatever you want. <laughs> okay. Maybe take a breath this time, if you can. Um, please, read your comments. We don't please. want you to, to pass out on us or anything. <laughs> <laughs> Michael Jackson <laughs> complained that he missed his childhood. He tried to make up for this loss as an adult. He invited children to enjoy Neverland, his private ranch and theme park. Jackson kept several exotic pets, including snakes, llamas, and bubbles, the chimpanzee. chimpanzee. He was accused of having inappropriate relationships with children. Okay. So... He says that he missed his childhood. What are they saying in this sentence? He tried to make up for this loss as an adult. Maybe his parents or his brothers treated him very bad. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and he tried to make up for it. He, wa so, he, he wants to do what he, he did not do when he was a child. Right, so the things that he didn't get to do, things like going to see Neverland, um, having a bunch of crazy pets. Sorry, Mariam, are you there? Yes, I'm here. Okay, I can hear you, but, you, oh, no, oh, no, she's gone. Um, okay, so he had pets like snakes, llamas, and a chimpanzee. Um, a private ranch and theme park, yeah. So a ranch is like a big farm, 
of, or a big area of land and mm -hmm. a theme park. Do you know what a theme park is? Yeah. So, Disney. Yeah, so like so he just had a big kind of private space where he had a theme park that was just his. Um I don't know if it would be very fun if you were the only one there. But um Bubbles is the chimpanzee's name. The chimp's name. So it was Bubbles the chimpanzee. Sorry, Samantha. Uh theme park is the um, same name. Is the same than an amusement park? Or yeah, not? they're the same thing. Theme Is park the same? or amusement park. He was accused of having inappropriate relationships with children. <laughs> what does that mean? Do you want to explain? Yeah. <laughs> so, what was what exactly was Michael Jackson accused of? Does anyone know? Sex abuse. Right. Was accused of sex abuse. Right, right. He was accused of being. Any questions about the vocabulary? No. Mm, so clear. an exotic pet is a pet that comes from a different country, um, a different land that you have brought to your own land. So these snakes, llamas, a chimp, those were all pets or animals that you wouldn't normally find. Um, what about Pantera? <laughs> <laughs> what? Yeah, so I was going to write a Panther, but... Oh, <laughs> Panther. Panther. Uh, teacher, Bubbles? What is Bubbles? Bubbles? It's his it's name. name. Bubbles the champion. Uh, ah. So, so a bubble, do you know what a bubble is? <laughs> I'll show you. Um, so, uh, Bubbles. These are bubbles, right? Yeah, okay, yeah, no. But it's just, it's just a name. He just ah, okay. Him, him yeah. Of the monkey. His, his favorite pet, right? Yeah. Okay. I know. Okay, okay. Um, all right, let's look at the last paragraph. Um, Lorenzo, would you like to read? Okay, no problem. Michael Jackson died from a painkiller overdose in 2009, his daughter was charged with involuntary manslaughter. Prior to his death, 15 years old Michael Jackson was rehearsing for his This Is It, a sold out concert series in London. Before he died, Michael Jackson left a voice recording on his daughter's phone. When people leave my show, I want them to say, I never seen anything like this in my life. It's the greatest entertainer in the world. Good. Um, did you guys hear about Michael Jackson's death? It wasn't very long ago, just a few years ago, and it was a pretty big thing in the media. Do you remember? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah so yeah. there was a whole yeah. big case, right, about this doctor. And it's saying his doctor was charged with involuntary manslaughter. So we could go into that, but <laughs> basically if you're interested, you could read up on it or watch some videos. Um, so. Michael Jackson. I've never seen anything like this in my life. He's the greatest entertainer in the world. This is what they want us um, to say, what he wanted people to say when they left his show, to be very super impressed with him, right? Um, does anyone have any questions about MJ? MJ, no. <laughs> <laughs> so let, can we fill in our little information card now? What was his name? Michael Jackson. Michael Jackson. Michael Jackson. Oops. Mike Jackson. MJ was his nickname, right? Nickname. His nationality. American. American. From, from Indiana, I think. Singer. Occupation? Singer. Singer. Also a producer. Uh, he producer. also helped to produce his music. Dancer. Entertainer, we could say. <laughs> Entertainer. Entertainer. Dancer. Dancer. Even more a dancer. Yep, dancer, entertainer, singer, producer. What is he best known for? Dancing. Dancing? 
music. He's just music, right? <laughs> so his, his, his face. His face, yeah. Um, his his face, like his skin, his nose. Which, yeah. Right? Because uh, he was black, and then he he, he became white. Right, right. So he's very well known for that, and there's a lot of controversy about that and his yeah. nose. Um, I mean, really, Michael Jackson is known for a lot of things, right? A very famous guy, and there's lots of different reasons why he's famous. So, one of yeah. them is the moonwalk. I'm still waiting for Ibrahim to kind of do the moonwalk for us. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe later. <laughs> uh, I'm a little bit lost, so that I, I'm thinking. <laughs> I'm a little bit lost. <laughs> T teacher, can you do the the moonwalk? No. <laughs> <laughs> no, <laughs> not today. <laughs> okay. Um. So, up to you guys. Would you like to do some some quest comprehension, or would you like to read about Billy Holiday? You can do some more reading. Yeah, yeah. Some more. Yeah. that, I have a question. Sure. What was that name? Like he's doing like that. Almost. You think he's going? Oh, the lean. Home. Where he like leans. Yeah, lean. He's, lean, but he's, he, he's like uh, he, he wants to fall down. No, not no tricks. I in this most criminal video, you mean? I don't. Bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. I don't know what it's called though. I just said the Matrix because it's like in the Matrix where Keanu Reeves <laughs> is like. Oh, like <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's it's called the it's called the falling down position. Falling down falling position. Down. Falling yeah. Okay, let me see. Michael Jackson's signature dance moves. Let's see what happens when I search for this. We'll Google this together. Greatest dance moves. Okay. The robot. The moonwalk. The toe stand. Oh, yeah, where he goes up on his toes. There's one. The tough guy. The synchronized group dance. Oh, great! The crotch grab. That's classic. Anti gravity lean. The ah, anti gravity yes, yes, lean. There one. it is. The anti gravity <laughs> lean. <laughs> but you know how 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 that works? No. With magnetic. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Magnetic shoes. Sure magnetic uh, floor. It says. Wow. Not to burst any bubbles, but Michael's famous anti-gravity lean was done with the aid of special anti. effects and wires in the video. Ah, um, I tried to do that. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> they usually activate the magnetic when he was going to do it. Yeah, so they're saying Michael and his team created yeah. a trick. In which it's Peg's impossible will, move to do. <laughs> yeah, rise from the stage, click into the heels into specially designed <laughs> shoes, and then support them as they lean forward. Pretty elaborate just for this one <laughs> lean, right? <laughs> Danger. Let me tell. Let me tell the forkin. That's why it doesn't work for you. <laughs> you know now. <laughs> you need. You need ropes. You have to buy you some, some money. You need some wires, some ropes, like <laughs> you need something. Yeah. And then there's also the robot, right? Who can do the robot? Yeah, yeah. The robot. Just a little bit of that. The moonwalk is the biggest one. The toe stand. Can you guys do the toe stand? The toe stand. No. He does that a lot. The crotch grab. <laughs> Where's the picture of the crotch grab? There it is. Lovely. <laughs> Lovely. <laughs> oh my gosh. That's crazy. Um, all right. Any questions about Michael Jackson? Okay. Let's read about Billie Holiday. My yeah. Michael Jackson. Michael Jackson has a. Uh, has two two uh, two girls. Two yeah, daughters. One of them's named Blanket. <laughs> Blanket. <laughs> <laughs> I 
I hate and, that and, name. And, uh, I can't help it. And then there's other celebrities that name like Apple. One celebrity named her kid Apple. It's like why? Apple, orange. Orange, yeah. Bird. I don't know. Tomato. Tomato. <laughs> Oh and, no, and is there really a kid named Facebook? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no. Facebook. Really? Yeah. Who's, who's kid? Not famous one. Who named their kid Facebook? Did a, I, okay, when I searched for that, I got, did a mother really just name her child hashtag? <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Okay, let's read about Billie Holiday just before we go. Yeah, someone's name's probably Twitter. I wouldn't be surprised. <laughs> okay, um, I'm going to get someone to actually read all three of these because they're all pretty short. So how about... Billie Holiday. How about Osama, would you like to read? Uh, okay. Okay. Yeah. Watch, watch, I can't see. Okay. Do you see it? Billie Holiday is an American jazz music legend. She was born uh, Eleonora Fagan on April 7, uh, 19, uh, 19, 1915. Uh, her father, Clarence Holiday, was a musician. As a child, she was neglected, uh, abused, and very, very poor. In uh, 1928, she moved uh, to Harlem in New York City. Uh, she changed her name to Billie Holiday and started singing in local nightclubs. Many people like liked her music. Good. Um, here's the link if you if you want it. Okay. So, do you know what these words mean? Neglected, abused, yeah, and poor. <clears throat> Neglected. Can anyone explain? I don't know what. What mean? What means neglected? Okay. What does it neglected, mean? Neglected, neglected means not to consider something a lot. Right. Know. Not un not considered. To reject, I think. Yeah. No? Rejected. Um. So when yeah. someone doesn't pay enough attention to you, you yeah, yeah, yeah. might be neglected. Yeah. When someone yeah. doesn't pay attention um, or interest to you. What about yeah. abused? What does that mean? Abused. Sexual abuse or it can be, abuse. yeah. There's different kinds of abuse. Yes. So essentially, to treat to treat someone bad. Yeah, when someone treats someone else poorly, badly. And poor means um, not a lot of money, right? You don't have a lot of money. Yeah. Poor. Um, she moved to Har Harlem and named her name, uh, changed her name to Billie Holiday. So her name is actually Eleonora Fagan, and I guess she didn't like that name, so she changed it to Billy Holiday. 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 And she became very, very famous. <laughs> so. But I, like I want to, to, I want to know, I want to know why uh, she decided to choose uh, Holiday as know. her. <laughs> because. His father. Because she likes family. holidays. Maybe she likes to go on holiday. His father's surname, Holiday. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Oh yeah, it's her father's surname, you're right, Clarence Holiday. So she's... she's okay. Um... Miriam, is your microphone working now? Miriam. Maybe not. Okay, Mona? Hi, Mona. Hi. Hey, would you like to read, Mona? Okay, no problem. No. Here. Miriam, can you hear me? <coughs> yes, I can. Hi. Oh, it's working, Miriam. <laughs> yes. Miriam, uh, would you like to read? Oh, one minute. Can you see my screen? Or the chat? Hello? I I hear a very strong noise. Do you hear? Do you see in the chat, Miriam? In 1932. Hi. Can you hear me? Yes. 
Yeah, yes, you okay. Can hear you. I have a problem with my mic. Yes, we can hear you. Samsung with the Benny Goodman. One minute. <laughs> Benny Goodman. Orchestra. A popular big band of the type. This got her recording work with Columbia Records. Over the next next decade, I can see that decade. Decade, decade. She recorded some of her finest songs and become more and more successful. Yeah. So decade is ten years, right? So ten years. Yeah, a decade is ten years. A century is 100 years. Century. Okay. Um, how about the next paragraph? Um, nice shades, Birkin. Nice mustache. Looking good. <laughs> uh, Iman, would you like to read? Okay. Oh, this, the noise is gone. That's great. You see it? I, I, yeah, I do. I see it. Okay. Uh, it's in 1937, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. In 1937, holiday toured the country. Um, sorry. First with the Count Bessie, and then with the artist Shaw Big Band. She faced so much racial discrimination on the show tour that she left it. Back in New York, she began singing at the Café Society. Uh, this club attracted all types of people, black, white, rich, and poor. Soon she had many new fans. New fans. From 1944 to 1950, she recorded some of her biggest hits, including her most popular record, Loverman. She also wrote two of her hits, God bless the child and don't explain. Good. What is this racial discrimination? Racial discrimination. According to his race. Right. So being treated differently or poorly. Yeah. Because yes. Of your yes. If if there is a difference between the people, for example, color or. Right. Segregation, exactly, Mona. Yeah, segregation. Yeah. Um. Okay. We only have a minute. Maybe we need Mr. Firkin to speed read. Firkin, do you want to <laughs> read the last two paragraphs for us? <laughs> I'm ready. Okay, beginning, go. <laughs> beginning in the 1940s, all this personal life became more and more troubled. Her husband abused her, and she started taking drugs. In 1947, she was convicted of heroin possession and spent most of that year in jail. Her conviction meant she could no longer sing in clubs, but her records were still popular. By 1952, her personal life was affecting her singing career. She kept making records, but they were not as good as her earlier recordings. Her voice was suffering from drugs and alcohol, but she couldn't stop using them. In 1959, she collapsed and died on July 7th, 17th, 1959. She was just 44 years old. Oh my goodness. <laughs> okay, so that's freaking speed reading. <laughs> So it's just telling us a little bit more about her life, right? She was abused, she started doing drugs, she went to jail for possessing heroin, heroin possession, so she was in possession of a drug. Um, even though she was in jail, her records were still popular, right? Um, and then it's saying by 1952, her personal life started to affect her singing career. She was suffering from drugs and alcohol, um, and she eventually died in 1959 at 44. So like many musicians, she suffered from addiction. She was addicted, so suffered from addiction uh, to drugs and alcohol, and that affected her career, and it eventually killed her. So she died at uh, 44 is pretty young age to die. Yeah. Poor woman. Yes. Um, we're just about out of time, so I'll give you guys my links. You can follow me on Verbling if you want, or Facebook. 
uh, you can always send me messages on Facebook and I'll answer you. And I'll yeah, be sure. Thank you very uh, much, Samantha. You are great. Yeah, it's nice to see everyone. I'm teaching again tomorrow at the same time, so hopefully I'll see you guys tomorrow. Okay. Yeah, of course. Bye. 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 Bye, guys. Nice seeing everyone. Bye.